Hello, we are back with episode 2 of Operation Blind Guard in Regiments. In the last episode, we had a great start, uh, started to take over a little bit of the map, took some pot shots at the enemies we were supposed to eliminate and didn't get any yet, but now we're in striking distance and we're going to have to hit them fast and hard to get the most victory points we can before this stage ends in just one turn. Now, we didn't take many losses, so it's taking just 20 operational authority, uh, a little more, to get our units back up to full strength. Not going to worry about that last guy. But what I am going to do is call in a new task force. Um, not certain yet which one I want to go with. I'm thinking about uh, Canona. German isn't great. Um, I'd like to have some artillery, but uh, the infantry seems kind of weak. The M113 is slow, takes a little bit to get our Panzer Grenz up there. So what I think I am going to go with is Zeitpunkt, uh, the recon task force. I love the weasel. Uh, it has a decent gun on it. It is fast, and then the uh, Fuchsjäger platoon is great, and when we upgrade that, um, we'll get the Weasel Toe, which is great, uh, with a strong ATGM on it, and we also get some cluster bombs. So I'm going to call that one in, and I'm going to save the rest of our operational authority, I think, I'm hoping to upgrade tactical support next time. If we look at the operational log, um, from last phase, we got 150 points from capturing stuff, um, an extra 7 points from destruction. I'm not sure exactly how that's calculated. I'd love to find that out, so if you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to see it and uh, learn more about how that's calculated. For our events, we took the negative one last time. Um, spurious events is interesting. We could get plus minus 150 or minus 150 deployment points. Uh, recon could be helpful here. And I think I'm going to go with that one, because what we need to do is find out exactly where their units are. Um so that we can eliminate the our targets for this phase. And if you're enjoying the series so far, uh, please take a moment while this is loading to subscribe. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. All right, so we left it last time with our infantry in these woods near the orchards. Uh, we should be able to take the orchards right away. Just have a scorpion uh, and a leopard platoon coming up in support. Uh, so I'm going to bring those up here, make sure we get some eyes on what's going on. We've got 275 points in reserve. So the first thing I'm going to do is call in a Lars, uh, the multiple rocket launcher. Then I'm going to bring in a Weasel, um, and this will help flank. And if we see, especially some HQ units in the back that are open, um, we can get around and take those out with the Weasel really quickly. And that gives us 50 units. Uh, we'll bring in the Fuchs Jaeger unit. Uh, the Jaeger is decent infantry. Fuchs is a uh, kind of a weak transport but uh, still definitely worth it for 50 points. Let's do an area recon, see what we're facing in here. Uh, we've got enough units that if it's just a couple enemies, we can actually take them on. Um, all right, so we can see we've got three units here. Can't see exactly what they are, but we can illuminate that area. Um, try to keep my own units out of the illumination, just so that I'm not uh, taking any hits from my own um, artillery or in the case of illumination um, you know not making myself more visible as well now this is getting a little tight uh, it's a BTR 70 our transports are better we have more infantry but they are dug in um, hopefully with our pioneers coming around the side here they can provide enough fire support to make a little difference and help us win this fight I would prefer not to get my Fusiliers mixed up in this at all, but, um, yikes, already taking mortar fire. Okay, so we can see where that's coming from. Now we've got the Lars. I've got that queued up to a hotkey. Uh, I like to throw my artillery on hotkey one, um, just so I can press one anytime, instantly have my artillery selected. I'm going to bring this Scorpion up, and being a recon unit, they should be able to see. And we could just pump through uh, artillery illumination all the time. Uh, no reason not to have that in right away. Um, it's free. Captured. It refills fast. There we go. So this is a grad. And uh, let's see what else we got here. A BTR-70. Now the grad won't be an issue at all. Um, that's an MLRS. They can't do anything to us this close. Okay, so that's one of the targets we've got to take out, is this grad. I wonder, is it just MLRS platoons we're after? 
in that case, this weasel will be great. We could sneak up behind and take them out um, with no trouble at all. Yeah, so there's another grad platoon here. Okay, all right, I'm feeling good about this now. I'm gonna keep pushing back with my weasel. I'm gonna get this Fuchs into range here. All right, so we took out all the targets at um, Hill 72. Now we're still getting hit with artillery fire. I think it's just a mortar, but I'm not sure. Let's pull the, those Fusiliers back while we've got the chance. Um, just because they've taken some hits, don't want to lose them unnecessarily. All right, so we can see some units right here. I am just gonna hit them with the MLRS. It's a Shilka and some infantry, not too much trouble. And I'm going to try to flank around here with my um, weasel. Um, there we go. I love seeing that come in. It's a beautiful sight. Just wish it was a little more effective. Still looks cool. I saw a decent amount of infantry right in there, so I'm going to hit them with an artillery strike Zone while I've captured. got it. Alright, so they took the R&D building somehow. Um, what could I send over? I'll tell you send a weasel platoon over. Well, I've got it, and let's send some pioneers back. I don't want to lose that. Um, I don't really have a good reason why. I just don't like it. And if you watched the last series, uh, Operation Reaction, you know just how important keeping your units alive is. Uh, that, that caused us a lot of pain in the previous one. Uh, we were spending all of our operational authority just trying to keep platoons at fighting strength. Uh, it's not what I'd like to, to do again here. I'm sending my weasel along. Um, was it Wiesel? Because it's German? I don't know. I'm probably saying it weird. I'm sending them along, trying to get it illuminated. Um, see if I can spot those MLRS platoons. Okay, so they have multiple tanks over here. That's That could be a little bit of a problem for us, because we have uh, really weak tanks in this battle group. I'm going to get my infantry out of there as quick as I can. And think about what else I could call in. Scorpion, that can probably take out a T-72, so I will send them as well. There we go. And I'll think about what else I can call. And you know what? I'm going to get my Lars out of there. I didn't use both salvos, but I'd rather have some extra leopards right now. That's what I need. So hopefully that'll come through soon. And with this Vizel coming up on the back, get some side armor, they should punch through that real fast. There we go. Okay, and I'm pulling those leopards back. I lost two of them. I'm not not excited about that. And I thought I called in area recon. I must have missed it or something. Counter strike with one to three platoons. Counter attack. Um, 
Let's bring in some mortars. Um, we can use some infantry. They've got decent anti-tank capabilities. How many weasels did we lose? We didn't lose any yet. The T-72 is suppressed, but our luck can't hold out forever. And that is purely what we are going on right now. You know what? Let's call in a Jaguar. They're great for anti-tank. We just need to find these other MLRS over here. That's all we need. Why can we not hit them? They're hiding somewhere. They've got a recon unit. Oh, uh, where's our other 50-point infantry? Oh, they're already up. So once we get to 75, I'll call in the Fusiliers. Maybe we can get some side shots on these guys while they're still coming in. That would be great. Maybe we can hold out just long enough to pin them in place for artillery and still not lose any of our units. That's what I want to see. Yikes. So we know they've got some infantry right there. hope we didn't lose too many. Might have lost them all. Kind of looks like it. I'm not sure if that number comes back up. I haven't watched closely enough to know. We've got 10 minutes. I don't need to rush. Wish I could just find those uh, MLRS and hit them at range. Alright, so we're gonna stop here. We're gonna get in cover. Said we're gonna get in cover. I don't have anything to send to help them right now. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. So they've got tank platoons everywhere. And these, um, the Fuchs platoons here only have two anti-tank units. I've got to get those AIVs out of there. We're running into some trouble. Now these T-72s should be down in just a minute. And these are T-72s and T-55s. Okay. So now they're down. That martyr unit is toast. We need leopards over here right away. Um, what do we got? What do we got to call in? Yeah, so those weasels, we lost all three. They were in way too tight of a spot. They weren't going to make it. You know, I was feeling really good a little earlier. Now I'm not feeling as good. We are in a much tighter spot than we were previously. Um, always good to have mortars when you're in fights like this. I like having that support without having to think about it. I'd like to be able to see who else is over here, uh, just so I can plan. Zone lost. What did I lose? Hill 68? Okay. Alright. What are you gonna do? 
Alright, so there's that mortar that's been giving us trouble. That won't last much longer. And I wish we had enough points for an artillery strike right now. That would be big. Okay, so this is a Shilka we're facing. Why can I not kill these mortars? They're at least suppressed. Wow, that's a BMP up close. Let's retreat. Let's pull back, make sure we got our front armor facing them. Um, okay, so now we've got mortar fire on them. That's good. Normally mortar fire is going the wrong way. And let's hit these guys with an artillery strike. That should suppress them enough that we can um, take swamp. And I think that'll get us what we need for the counterattack. There we go, that's going to suppress them. And now that they're suppressed, we'll be able to get um, our infantry in there. At least hopefully. We're hitting them from three different sides. Um, so that should keep them fully suppressed. Take them out pretty quickly. Like they can't... Oh yeah, it's just a BMP now. That's all they've got. There we go. I'm surprised this one isn't suppressed as well. And just keep eyes on what's going on up at Friedland. That We can't forget about it. That's our ultimate goal here. Alright, so we've got another unit. Wow. They are... They outnumber us quite a bit. That's BMP's done as well. We took all the riflemen out. BMPs have decent cannons on them. Uh, so it's not like the BTRs, which aren't really going to do much to us once we kill their infantry. R&D building again? Man, they just do not want me to have that. Zone capture. So we captured Hill 68, and I forgot to look when we uh, threw the recon on Friedland. We've got another weasel unit we can call in when we have the points, although I might want to do pan uh, Panzer Grenadiers. Just to make the most of the points. Okay. So we got that one taken care of. Let's move our Fusiliers in. Alright, yeah. I'm going to send a Martyr up to the R&D building. The Martyr 1A2 has uh, a ATGM on it. So that we can take out tanks as well. You know, not great at it, but it'll, it'll do the job. And this BTR should go down quickly. Alright, didn't realize we were down to five minutes. Uh, we gotta make a move. I want to get those victory points. Okay. We are gonna pack up the Fusiliers and move as quick as we can. And get everything we can ready to make a final push into Friedland. 25 points. Um, let's get this mortar up. Still 78% ammo on that. We have the martyr going to take out the um, orchards area. Hmm. I'm not going to have enough time to save up for an artillery strike. And I, I think I remember doing this last time I played through the campaign as well. That I didn't have uh, enough points to really use my mirage bombs much at all. Okay. Now let's get our units um, in place, get them in this forest. What I really want is just to capture R&D building with my martyr um, to get that back. I'll, I think from a points perspective, orchards would make more sense, so we'll send the martyr up there. Alright, let's drop recon on it. This force is not as strong as I would like. Wow. Let's illuminate it. What was that? It was a very big sound. Aha. Alright, so we found a grad. That's going to go down quick. 
Although somehow it's bouncing. What does a grad even have that can hit us? I, I don't know the answer to that. Zone lost. So we can um, hopefully recapture orchards. Oh, you know what? That's how they're doing it to us. They are just sending guys right from this entrance point. Don't want to lose any guys unnecessarily, but that's probably going to happen. Maybe I could take orchards, get those points back. Yeah, I'm going to pull the leopards back. There we go. There are the grads. And maybe my Jaguar can just hit some of these grads. That's what I want. Maybe we can take some out with artillery. There we go. Maybe we can take out some more. Two left. Zone lost. What did we lose? 68. Objective okay. Completed. All right. So we got those guys. Let's everybody smoke. Zone Move out. Captured. One minute remaining. One minute. All right. Just keep, keep our guys alive. That's all we got to do. For 50 more seconds. And it looks like Hill 72 is undefended, hopefully. I have no idea where our guys retreating are. Sword is going to drop smoke. Let's move our um, mortar out of the way. Now we're not going to get Hill 72 back, unfortunately. Oh yeah, smoke. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh man. That hurt. That hurt a little. That was not necessary. It was sloppy. And we just completely lost that unit. With so little time left, we just lost it unnecessarily. Oh, I hate that. Still better than 2 to 1. Um, for vehicle losses, total losses though, we must have burned through some infantry that time around. Um, these grad kill numbers are great though. We got the victory points. Did not get the operational authority I would have liked to see uh, from capturing points, but we did get the victory points. The um, Rockton Jagdpanzer, I think. I think that's what that's called. Um, that really helped us taking out the grads in the end. Uh, I like that unit. I don't call it in as much because it's a little squishy. But I, I do like to have that one uh, as backup when we use it in the right situation. I love the scorpion, but it didn't didn't work out for us there. Let's see how this looks for the next battle. Okay, so we got 325 operational authority. Uh, situation report. Yeah, so stage done. We got 30, 35 points. Got uh, some for destruction, some for capturing points. So we're good on operational authority. The line. Jaeger Battalion has set a hasty defensive line at the west of Gottigan. Reinforce them and hold the line. The main forces of the division are still arriving and need time to deploy properly. So I wonder if this is going to be like a mobile defense type mission? NATO Corps. From Sentag, U.S. 5th Corps and German 3rd Corps participated in the outbreak of German escalation. Integrating the latest weapons and organizational reforms, 5th Corps was at a peak of its strength. German 3rd Corps, somewhat weaker in equipment and caught in the middle of maneuvering at the outbreak of war, held its ground against overwhelming odds with admirable bravery. So if we think about what we need for the next time, it's about 30 points, 45 points, 90 points, um, 105 points, 120 points, 125. So we got like 130 points we're going to have to spend on reinforcements. Not terrible. 
Um, we can upgrade some task forces. I definitely want to up our deployment points. We're a little low there. Um, I think it would really help to have more of those coming in and more tactical support. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at that next time. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, again, if you enjoyed it, appreciate it if you give me a like. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and hope you're enjoying the game. Thanks and have a good one.